when I was young. I felt that I could never ever please my parents. So I always felt this pressure to compulsively tell myself that I need to reach perfection. Standing at 1.6, I weighed 50 kg at my highest point. When I reached JC, there was this friend that came up to me and she said, Hey, you put on weight, ah. your arms look so flabby. I think that was the point where imperfection set in. Going home and staring myself at the mirror, it was then when I realised that what she said was true. I just wanted to snap it apart. I just wanted a scissors to cut it away. I started to realise that, hey, you are actually imperfect. The voices in my head, I really did what they wanted me to do, which is to lose weight, to be perfect. I limited myself to only one meal per day, and it's palm-sized meal. I fit everything into this palm. I exercise compulsively. I run almost 10 kilometers every day. That was the point where I was on a high also because I saw myself losing weight so rapidly. And that brought me down to a weight of 37 kg. That was my lowest before I was admitted to the hospital. And I was diagnosed then with anorexia nervosa. My diagnosis was actually a trophy for me. It certified me as skinny. I was recognised. Eventually, I think self-hate voices came back and they came back with a vengeance. It started off from, I'm ugly. It became, I'm worthless. And then it slowly, gradually turned into, I'm just a nobody. I shouldn't even be here on earth. I'm a burden to others. That was really my breaking point. And hence, I decided to search for alternatives. So I went to church with a friend of mine and it was in the sanctuary where I found peace. It was a peace that really urged me to go to church every single week. It was there when the voices stopped. Everything stopped. It was a defining moment for me. I started to believe God's reality in my life. He was so, so real. He spoke directly to me. He said that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Your arms, you may think that they are flabby, but no, I created them as how I want it to be. My imperfections, my heavenly father thought that it was perfect. A few weeks later, my church actually rolled out Alpha. I wanted answers for the questions that I have and I felt that Alpha could actually provide me with the answers. The first Alpha was a little bit intimidating because after the program, there was a buffet of food in front of me. I wanted to run away, but I helped myself and I went through the whole process, eating only one small siu mai. On one hand, I wanted to be there because God was there. And yet at the same time, there was the self-hate thoughts that tells me, no, you shouldn't go. People will judge you. I really fought those voices. I wanted to heed what the voice of God says and I wanted to be there. The facilitators were very welcoming to me. They were showing love towards me, which I have never felt for a very long time in my life. I felt equipped with the truth from the Word of God and gained a better understanding of existential questions like Who am I? Why is life so hard? Am I born to suffer? What are these voices that I hear? Slowly but surely, I gained victory over my anorexia as I relearned how to eat three meals a day. Like everyone, I still have weak moments sometimes but I no longer spiral into darkness. God said to me, I will make your imperfection perfect in my eyes. Stop looking for validation elsewhere. I will see you through the different seasons. I will be your loving father.